the work trend index Microsoft did back in 2021 revealed that of the 30,000 people across 31 countries that were surveyed, that 73% wanted to stay flexible for work and meetings. At the same time, 67% of the same surveyed people said they want more in-person time with colleagues as well. This is what we call the hybrid paradox. When you invite to a meeting and you expect people to come into the meeting room, you soon discover that one person is still commuting to work, the other person is on travel, and the third person is at home because that person didn't understand it was actually an in-person meeting and didn't care to come to work that day just for an hour workshop. That is the hybrid meeting challenge. We want to share two ideas with you on how to succeed with hybrid meetings. First off, your room needs to be equipped to bring those commuting, traveling, at home users into your meeting room. You do that by having the proper camera, being able to capture the whiteboard, either if it's analog or digital, but most important of all is the sound. Make sure the acoustics in the room are great and that your audio equipment is scaled for the room. Make sure it focuses on your voice so that the external parties enjoy being in a call with the room. To fully succeed with hybrid meetings, make sure you bring a digital device so that you in the room can chat with external parties, can bring them into so they can see what's going on on the table, on the whiteboard, using your mobile phone. Teams has multi-join capabilities, so you can easily like show what's going on right then and there. The second idea we want to share with you is no meeting Friday. One of the biggest challenges workers has today is that there is no room for actually working and getting the job done because it's, there's meeting after meeting after meeting after meeting. What if you can have then a no meeting Friday where you can focus on your work? At the same time, the other challenge is that we may end up never seeing our colleagues because we do want that. And what if we can introduce a no teams meeting Wednesday, which means that where everyone comes to the office to have lunch, to run on-site workshops, so they don't come into the office just to be in Teams meetings. If you could plan your flexible meetings on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, then you would have in-person meetings for your group on Wednesday, and then focusing on Fridays, making sure you have a good weekend. Think about that. There is one more thing we want to share with you, and that is making sure everyone is prepared for the meeting by writing an expectation in the team's conversation for the meeting. This way, everyone comes prepared and primed for the meeting so that we can go straight to the point. During the meeting, we can discuss in chat, we can take notes in OneNote and meeting notes, making sure we capture what's going on and then sharing that after the meeting. We can continue the conversation in that chat after the meeting to land any outstanding elements. The result of this is more effective meetings. Maybe we can reduce the number of meetings because we can start them and complete them in Teams chat. How are you succeeding with hybrid meetings? Do you think we shared some great ideas? Run a workshop with Cloudway so we can have a discussion of how you can succeed with the hybrid paradox and hybrid meetings.